Once again, we are witnessing the dark side of social media. These warrants demonstrate our belief about these three individuals and their criminal acts. However, I can't help but be disturbed by the incredible, incredible numbers of shares and views of this crude and despicable event. Happening now, three teens are locked up tonight. This is them accused of kidnapping a woman, then showing her sexual assault on Facebook Live. 19-year-old Haley Hudson, 17-year-old Kadari Booker, and 17-year-old Edzie Johnson are all from the Gulfport Biloxi area. And Gulfport police say they learned of the crime late Tuesday night. Investigators say the 23-year-old woman was physically and sexually assaulted in Hudson's home. More arrests could be on the way, even though that video was removed by Facebook but copies of the video received about 48,000 views. So what crime, if any, could people be charged with for sharing or even viewing this type of video? WGSU's Travers Mackle is live in the studio with that answer for us, Travers. Well, bottom line, Stella, social media experts say because there are no laws on the books, very few, if any, crimes could have happened. They have looked at something, excuse me, they say that even though somebody looked at something on a social media site, it may not be a crime. After this latest incident involving a crime being posted on a popular social media site in Mississippi, the police chief came out swinging. I wish people would look at just how warped our society has become. We videotape pain and suffering, then we share it and we view it over and over. He also says lawmakers in this area, Mississippi and our state, Louisiana, should address matters. I think at some point, if we want to change us as a culture, we need to make that criminal. To, to go on Facebook Live and video and put out criminal acts, that in and of itself, I think our legislators need to consider making it a criminal act. But social media experts say that may be easier said than done. He's got the right idea. I don't know if there's ever going to be a way to legislate how social media works and how people use it, but maybe on the back end, there's got to be some sort of a rule. Uh, maybe it's some sort of Facebook Live law. If you do something wrong and upload it to Facebook Live, that's an extra charge. Social media expert Jeff Januzic says regulating social media posts could also impact police investigations, specifically when video is released. This beating in the French Quarter from last month shows a crime. It was put on social media by the police in hopes of catching the suspects, a valuable tool that could change if lawmakers start tinkering with social media laws. There's no internet police, so how do you enforce that? How do you find the person who recorded that? But this police chief says change needs to happen soon. Once again, we are witnessing the dark side of social media. In addition to the legal challenges that could come with regulating social media post, experts say because of the number of people on social media, it's just not practical. Sala.